them out. We have a wonderful man in our ministry. His name is Jim Coates. He's been with us 20 some years. Uh, Jim is a real war hero. Uh, he's a black man, a pilot. He has every hero and decoration award our country gives twice. I mean, this man's military record, it's like, wow. And, and if you meet him, he, he's just a great hearted, wonderful guy, great soul winner. But he and I are traveling together through the night once, and it's the middle of the night, probably two, three in the morning, and we're traveling down the highway. And in the middle of the night, there's nothing I like to do like eat. I like to stop and eat. Because the reason I like to eat in the middle of the night is there's nothing healthy open. <laughs> it's just all good stuff. I mean, you go in the truck stop, you say, put some more grease on that, put a little more on it. And, and we're traveling, and, and I said, Jim, let's eat, let's eat. I'm hungry, let's eat. And Jim says, oh, that's great, great, great. He said, let's pray about where to stop. And I said, pray about where to stop. <laughs> I mean, this is exactly how... I said, Jim, I, I don't care where we stop. Just pick a spot. Oh, he said, oh, Brother Gibbs, you're such a tease. <laughs> he said, we pray about everything, right? <laughs> and I said, yeah. <laughs> don't you look at me like that. Oh, he said, right now, man, God's setting up the divine appointment. That's the word he used, a divine appointment of who we should hand a track to. Man, we want to be in the right place, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's pray. Let's pray. Amen. <laughs> I told him, I was just testing you, just testing you. <laughs> Do you realize last week, highly probable, you made 99% of life's decisions with no prayer. And God says, stop it. In everything, underline that in that verse, everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, everything. We prayed for the Lord to order our steps, and I mean, we got off, and we're at this huge gas mart type thing, and we're putting fuel in our car, and two semis come pulling in and park, and there's a real light mist coming down, a rainy mist, and two truck drivers are walking by us, and Jim calls out to me, he says, hey guys, hey guys, I got something for you, uh, something you're going to want, because he said... You guys sure you're going to heaven when you die? And these guys stopped cold. And they said to Jim, what'd you say? He said, I, I just asked him, are you sure you're going to heaven the day you die? Now, they came walking over to us. And the one truck driver says, let me tell you something, mister. He said, we travel this road five nights a week. And he said, all we do is talk on our radio to each other, and we drive to where we deliver, and then we drive back. But he said, tonight we got talking about what's going to happen when we die. And he said, I told him, you got me so shook up, my partner here. We got so shook up because neither of us knows what's going to happen. We get so shook up. We never stop here, never. But he said, I told him, let's get off. I want to end this conversation. This has got me so shook up. So we park our trucks, get out, going in to get coffee, and you call us. <laughs> and you know what he said? It's like you got sent or something. Boy, Jim said, we did get sent. Man, it wasn't 10 minutes, 
And both of those men prayed. The one on his knees on wet concrete. Well, Brother Gibbs, those things don't happen to me. Because you're not asking. 